boys and girls, it's Miss Michelle again. I'm here to help you learn how to make kinetic sand. We have our ingredients list here and our ingredients here. We have flour, cornmeal, oil, you can use any kind that you want, and corn syrup. We are also going to need a bowl for mixing, a measuring cup, and a measuring spoon for one tablespoon. If you need to pause, go ahead and pause so you can go get your ingredients. If not, let's get started. All right, so the first thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna take our flour and we need one half cup of flour. So I got a quarter cup um, measuring cup. So I'm gonna use two to make one half. So we're gonna go one, two. All right, I'm done with the flour now. Now I'm gonna need the cornmeal. The cornmeal also needs one half cup. And because I have a quarter cup, I'm gonna do two. All right, here we go. One. Two. Perfect. Now I'm gonna take my hands and I'm gonna mix it together. All right, that way it's kind of, take a look, it's kind of mixed all together so you can't tell which, which part is which. And now we're going to take our measuring spoon and we're going to add one tablespoon of vegetable oil. Okay, do it over the bowl so in case you spill, it goes into the bowl. So we're going to add that. And then we're gonna add one tablespoon of the light corn syrup. And I'm doing it over the bowl again, just in case it spills. There we go. Whoop. Make sure all that gooey goodness gets in there. All right, and now you're gonna take your spoon, your measuring spoon, and you're gonna stir it around a little bit, okay? So we're gonna stir, 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 stir. And once we stir just a little bit, we're gonna take our fingers and we're gonna clean off that spoon so we get all of that, oop, all of that oil. And then we're gonna use our hands and we're gonna kind of squish it, squeeze it to make it all mixed together. And it looks like Miss Michelle's is just a little bit too dry. But, see how you squeeze it and it kind of falls apart? So I'm gonna add just a little bit more vegetable oil to mine. If yours turned out nice and squishy, then you don't need to do this. But I need just a little bit more. Do that, I'm gonna kind of squish that around. I'm kind of making a little bit of a mess here. I hope you guys are in a spot that can be cleaned up easily. All right, there we go, that's much better. Now, I squeeze it and it holds its shape, see? Now you can use anything that you would like in here. You can use all kinds of different toys. You can even put some dinosaurs in here. Just make sure you ask your family before you do so. All right, guys. Enjoy your kinetic sand. Remember to put it in a Ziploc when you're done playing with it so it doesn't go bad. All right, I'll see you guys later. Bye.